It's a beautiful day for some DSA and welcome back to the Cozy Club, my friends. My name is Cozy Gamer and today we are going to talk about the most slept on character possibly within all of DSA and that is going to be Fred. Do you want to see top in super silence meta teams get absolutely wiped out in 45 seconds or less? Well, you've come to the right spot, my friends, as we're going to take a deep dive into Fred, some of the best teams that you can build both early, mid and late game and everything that makes this unique and slept on character amazing. Now let's start out with some of the basics. You can farm him from Villains 3E, which is definitely going to be a very early farm, very early game. About level 30 is the enemies that you're going to be facing to three-star that node. And once you have him, you've got yourself an elite tank that's gonna carry yourself through and you can invest in him safely all the way up to in game jumping into his kit his basic attack you're not going to be using too much but it does do some extra damage at continuous damage on the enemies and it can extend helpful effects on fred which is nice because he has taunt he has attack up a lot on himself but you want to keep an eye on his two abilities and let's laser focus into what these do looking at his first ability cozy club gravity crush this is really where fred shines in late game this is how you decimate teams with in like 45 seconds or less doesn't matter how good they are and in early and mid game you're getting yourself a very fast taunt out on the field defense up and intimidate on any opponent of your choosing intimidate is not going to allow the enemy to counter attack it's not going to allow them to basic attack and also stops them from gaining speed turn meter so it's amazing and excellent to put on targets like elsa anna bubbles and these characters that rely on assist counter attack stitch is another great example that you're going to start seeing more and more out there that if you slap intimidate on him it kind of ruins what he's supposed to do on the battlefield not only that his passive each and every time that he goes fred's gonna have a 60 percent chance or up to a 60 percent chance to put intimidate on the random lowest health enemy out on the field so you can start the battle with two characters shutting them down for the most part and both free to play and late in game this is going to be absolutely essential now i breathe fire is going to be his second ability and this ability is absolutely amazing you don't want to use this until you build up some charges on fred if you have him with hero and honey lemon uh honestly with honey lemon at all he's going to be a lot better it's going to skyrocket his overall usability even though i don't use that on the final team with fred that's definitely going to skyrocket his usability and his viability however i breathe fire is going to be inflicting one continuous damage per two charges on fred each dealing up to 16 100 damage over two turns guys that's going to consume the charges again if honey lemon is a teammate it's going to increase this damage by 30 percent it's going to inflict blind on the target opponent and guys it's going to have a 30 percent chance to put blind on the entire battlefield and that's after he's already done damage to clear evades or other things on the battlefield so we just already talked about his passive it's fred time getting intimidate on for two turns on the lowest health ally but in addition to this this every single time that he has charge he's gonna have a chance to give himself offense up which is gonna be essentially all of the time he's gonna have offense up a lot on this unit this really amps up fred's overall damage numbers on what he's gonna put on the field you really don't even need fred for damage he's kind of your backup emergency plan but once those continuous damages get on the field guys fred can delete characters so in early game you're gonna have very early access to fred as we already talked about pair him up with hero honey lemon and two attackers i love putting him with genie plus a very hard hitter that's going to be a great team or you can get go go if you're really committed to bh6 and that is going to make a very fine team as well maybe not have complete bh6 but they're a very good team if you want to put in someone like elsa at this point i'm thinking elsa has now entered the reins of not just paid to play guys she is on her coming on her third turn around and she's been here both two times so by this point a lot of the global launch and a lot of people in general should have their hands on a high level elsa so for mid game fred is going to be putting on some monster damage with his continuous damage out on the field pretty much it can line up if you have enough charges and you have honey lemon in there 
when the enemy starts their turn, it's going to wipe them as soon as they start their turn, depending on what health level they're at. And you're just going to have a lot of fun with Fred in general, and he can fit with a lot of great comps. So Cozy Club, just in case you guys don't know, I spent a lot, and I mean too much time on theory crafting teams and trying to come up with teams that not only can beat the meta but don't have all the best characters that you see in the game like baymax and elsa i try to refrain from using a lot of them however when going against baymax i was trying to take out bh6 without using baymax on the team and with that auto taunt to start is not the easiest task now i do have elsa in this example team however you can completely get rid of her when using this team she's kind of a safety gate but guys i'm gonna break down this team in exactly how elite and i'm not exaggerating at all this is by far one of the best teams in dsa so when i'm testing i find it most important to line up not only just power levels but i want to make sure our sorcerer stones are just about the same i also try to line up t7.5 versus t7.5 so that you guys can see the most maxed out potential of this team and you can see if you want to safely invest in these characters all right guys so we're going to go ahead and take a look and break down exactly what's happening in battle here this is against a super silence the team you're going to see the most within the high high ranks of pvp and just in general in dsa you're going to run into a lot of these teams with bubbles honey lemon and elsa as they all have silence and i'm going to be running a team without both baymax or honey lemon and I'm going to completely work this team. I'll show you versus this team and versus one more where I just wipe them out in just a few seconds. But let's go ahead and dip into exactly what's going on here. So first thing is I'm going to use Gravity Crush on the opponent. I'm going to be looking again for Elsa or Bubbles to get both the Intimidate out there. And most importantly, the Taunt and Defense up and then setting myself up to completely decimate the enemy team guys vulnerable is going to be coming on t7 and once you've got your fred all the way leveled up the first thing you want to upgrade is the t7 upgrade to get vulnerable on gravity crush what this is going to do is put vulnerable on the main target and completely set up dash for success so you see on this next move here you have fred going first you're usually gonna have the enemy hero go or your hero depending on the coin flipped and or the sorcerer stones or the speed stones on your character but at this point you're going to have hero go and he can do whatever he's gonna be stuck behind your fred's taunt because again it's the fastest taunt currently within the game once he's maxed out then your hero can go guys you're gonna see my hero get ready to go and immediately put upgrade on dash now what this is going to do is have dash with attack up he's going to do heads up on the enemy on a vulnerable giving him a guaranteed 10 stacks and that's going to go right to the dash which is going to completely wipe delete the enemy team guys i have been proud of some theory crafted teams i was one of the first or if not the first in my opinion to come out with the zerg go go comp with big hero 6 but this is without a doubt my favorite team that i have come up with this sets up dash to be meta once again no matter if they're stitch we've tested plenty against him no matter what really you're going to be wiping out enemy team after enemy team now as you can see i took down baymax to just about full health and now i'm going to be able to go immediately after that now let's talk about something important that could happen plenty within this battle and that is what if vulnerable does not land where there's three different things you can do to kind of set yourself up for success first of all baymax can evade this yes honey lemon's passive can go ahead and cleanse this however that will be a 50 50 chance the best thing is you can go ahead and run yourself duke kaboom to give you that vulnerable in your back pocket this is going to also be great for early and mid and free to play teams if you don't have t7 fred right up and ready to go now one way cozy club around honey lemon's passive where you see her cleanse off that vulnerable is go ahead and put go go in the slot where genie is and she's gonna get the first move out on the board getting defense down on all the enemies and nine times out of ten you're gonna see honey lemon proc her passive right then and there allowing yourself to set up for the vulnerable a lot more easy and we're gonna be burning through some of these turns here and if you notice dash is going to be ready to go again cauldron and golden hammer or cauldron and claw are gonna be absolutely essential with this team you can run cauldron with a bunch of different variants 
But guys, if you saw my genie character spotlight, you know he's one of the best characters in the game that people are currently sleeping on. First of all, if they go for anybody outside of genie, we're gonna go ahead and put invincibility on that character, keeping them alive. Also, we have a cleanse that we can do on just about any character or ally on our team to swap over the negative effects on the team. As you can see, Hero here is going to be taking my Fred's stun and he's going to set up my Fred for success. Now, there's just so many ticking time bombs and we've talked about this on so many different videos. I might make a full video just about it, but people like Elsa Stitch and now Fred are characters that if you leave them alone, they're going to stack up too much stuff and it's going to overwhelm your team guys so yes dash is not the most accessible character but this is a great example of an elite character that can absolutely decimate teams we're gonna be looking at a couple battles here you've got this one versus the super silence here's a battle against a great t7 maxed out team that i was able to take out in under one minute if this goes up against kingdom oceanic or frozen because of all those intimidates you can control the battlefield and get a lot of heavy damage out right away now if you don't have dash you can use zerg you can use elsa use really any strong attacker in this category to hit that vulnerable that fred sets up to and really it gives you that path to success and you can immediately get rid of baymax while also having fred with a taunt on your team and this is really the meat and potatoes of this team it's setting yourself up you're looking at some of the fastest if not all of the fastest characters within the game so strictly with cauldron and all the sheer speed that you have you're not going to be able to get caught up on in fact oceanic teams you're going to lap several times other tech teams you're still going before them and guys this is without honey lemon if you put honey lemon in genie spot you're going to have fred do a lot more damage and have the chance to inflict blind on everybody if you're going against a stitch go ahead and slot in honey lemon or bubbles in that spot as well as bubbles is going to have that build up turn meter and continue to allow people to go multiple times with the ticket and his silence guys there's so many different variants of this team now the new core three can have the third member replaced it's going to be hero fred and typically dash as you guys saw that the, the combination of all, everything that's happening is completely legit it's not going to be nerfed or fixed because it's intended and there's nothing out here outside of what the designers probably intended for the game but if you wanted to remove dash like we said there's so many different characters that you can also slot in there guys the main reason fred is an absolute unit just in case we haven't talked about it enough is his sheer speed and how fast you can get a ton out on the battlefield. Cozy Club, I'm sure there's going to be even more teams spawning from Fred's absolute ridiculousness. I'm excited to pair him up with Baymax myself. In fact, I'm just excited to go against these freaking super silence teams. You guys know I'm a huge Baymax fan, but it's time that we take down these big Hero 6 meta teams. Now, I've got some more teams that are able to completely take out the top meta today, and I'm going to be sharing those later in the week, but I wanted to bring you this under ridiculous character if you guys haven't already work on honey lemon work on hero but fred should absolutely be one of the first heroes within big hero 6 and disney source arena that you work on cozy club thank you so much for stopping by if you want to see more testing just like this i will be streaming today you can check that out in the description below i stream all of the time about big hero 6 we have tons of fun if you want to go ahead and join the cozy club on twitch again check that out in the description below and until next time my friends stay cozy